Morning y'all, back out at Lake Maumelle for the third day in a row to fish zone three. Yesterday I fished zone two and it was really tough, only managed to catch a couple fish. So hopefully they'll be better. We have a lot more clouds today and there should be just on and off rain so that might help the bite. Uh, and hopefully I can use what I learned in zones one and two and apply it in zone three and get a good bag in the boat. So let's get after it. Reeling it back, and this big guy just grabbed my bait. I'm literally reeling my jerk bait back. Holy crap! He was suspended out here, deep. He choked that jerk bait too. Yes, first fish of the day off this rocky point. I was reeling my jerk bait in. He must have been sitting there looking at it while it was suspended there, and he choked it. First fish of the day. Uh, Zone three has the cleanest water in this lake. And uh, this jerk bait, I think, is gonna be the ticket today for me to catch some nice fish. Uh, I'm gonna keep chunking this. He definitely wants this color. I'm gonna get this guy in the live wall and I'm gonna get back after it. There's definitely fish on this point too. Oh yes, okay. So, caught that fish again on this deep channel swing point on this jerk bait and I was Working that thing really slow, letting it sit for about seven to eight seconds at a time. The water is 46 degrees right now, so I was trying to really let that bait sit. And uh, as I was reeling my bait in to make another cast, that fish crushed it. So I think I can probably speed up the cadence of my jerk bait, work it a little bit quicker today, and still get some strikes. Got him. Another one on the jerk bait here. Just moved around the corner of this point. That guy got the front hook, which is a good sign. It's a nice one too. Here we go. Number two for the day. He hit that front hook of that jerk bait. So I was working that jerk bait again pretty quick. Um, not working it like super slow. And uh, he grabbed it right after I jerked it. So good fish. Probably a pound and a half or which I'm all Mel. Anything over two pounds is really big. So uh, that one I caught earlier is a really big one for out here. So uh, good fish. I'm gonna put in the live wool to try to see what my biggest five are. Oh, there we go. Uh, so caught that fish off the same channel swing bank. The point where I caught that good one is just right behind me. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep my boat in about 20, 25 feet of water and then making about 45 degree angled casts at this bank. Uh, so I can work the bait close to the bluff wall and then more out where the fish might be suspended. And when I'm working this jerk bait, what I'm doing is I'm first reeling the bait down about seven or eight times just to get it down a little bit deeper. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep slacking my line. I'm just gonna jerk the bait a couple times, let the bait sit for three or four seconds, jerk the bait another couple times, let it sit for three or four seconds. And sometimes I'll give it one jerk, sometimes I'll give it three jerks, just uh, varying up my retrieve to see what the fish like best today. And the spot I'm fishing is a main lake point with a channel that swings right up next to it. And it creates pretty much a bluff wall with big boulders. And this is a really great spot to catch fish in the winter time, especially when the water is clear, because it gives the fish the ability to sit in deep water and then pull up to these shallower boulders when the sun comes out. And it's just a really good ambush point for these winter bass. Got him. Oh, pulled off, that was a three pounder. Crap. <sighs> mm. Golly, I don't get that frustrated normally. I'm fishing. That was a good one again. Bites are tough to come by right now, guys. And when you lose a three pounder on a jig, 
Uh, not a happy camper. I was working that jig down this bluffy bank. I got, came back to the exact same spot where I caught that three pounder earlier. Um, working that jig slow down that bluff wall. He picked it up, set the hook. <sighs> Didn't get him in the boat. That's a bummer. Anyways, let's get back after it. <laughs> Golly. Got him. Why, why was I fishing like, oh, he popped off. Ah. I hooked that fish in like three foot of water. Seriously, that fish was on the bank. I thought I was hung on grass or something and oh, it popped off. Today's been a weird day. I don't know what's going on. I, I tried to fish out deep. I had some rock piles I was fishing. Fish those bluff walls, fish a lot of steep points, just like where I was getting bit on that one steep point. Nothing, couldn't get anything going on anything else. And finally just got a bite here on this crankbait up in two foot of water. So we might try to run a few banks like this. See if I can't get a few more nibbles on this crankbait. Got him. As I say that. A decent one. It's a real decent one. Back is away from this bank. There's definitely a group of fish right here. There we go. Two and a half pounder. On that crankbait, maybe two and a quarter. Up shallow, real shallow, off this little secondary point here. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that because that, that fish was up in three, four foot of water. But uh, real nice fish and put them in the live well. Okay. Now I'm kind of scratching my head because I spent most of the afternoon thinking I need to be out deeper and the fish are up shallow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You would think with 46 degree water, these fish would want to be on steep drops. They'd want to be offshore but I mean I guess that fits with the pattern yesterday where I caught all my fish up really shallow so I don't know maybe uh, just heading our hit right there maybe we're on to something maybe we can just throw this crankbait around for the next hour before the Sun goes down I mean I guess just uh, to let y'all know the bank I'm fishing here is nothing special it's just a uh, little secondary point that leads into a spawning pocket and there's a little bit chunkier rock down this bank that's the reason I picked this out um, there's a tran rock transition from uh, basically just really small rocks and sand to a little bit chunkier rock and uh, being that it's on a point leading into the spawning pocket it looks like a good spot maybe for the fish to stage in March but Right now, with the water so warm, maybe these fish are just almost getting to their pre-spawn locations right now. Um, not sure if that's true or not, but uh, I can't think of anything else to explain it. Got him. What the heck? Y'all see that? I cast it on the bank. Then the big one, but it's number four. I was like, come on now, I just throw up there just to see. That fish was in, I saw him eat it. I mean, I watched that fish eat it in 46 degree water. Air temperatures are in the 40s. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. On that little crankbait, same spot here. That, that, that fish was like, I watched him eat it. He was in the grass. I mean, that's ridiculous. They're so shallow. Probably catch him on a spinnerbait right now. They're so shallow. I don't know what to say, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. 
Well guys, safe flight's fading pretty fast here, so I'm gonna head back to the house. And uh, once I get there, I'm gonna do a full recap of my day in zone three, go through the patterns, baits, line, reels, all that stuff. Uh, and then I'm also gonna do a recap of my three days on Lake Maumelle and kinda draw some parallels between the days in the different zones and uh, hopefully share with you some insights on how to catch more fish uh, this winter. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back at my house and I just wanted to quickly go over the tackle I was using today. Uh, the first fish I caught came on the Strike King KVD jerkbait. This is the 300 size in the crystal shad color. And this is an awesome suspending jerkbait and I really like this color in clear water. Next bait I was throwing, which I actually lost a good fish on, is the Strike King Tour Grade Finesse Jig in the quarter ounce size. I was throwing a Strike King Menace Scrub trailer on the back. And then finally I was throwing the Strike King KVD 1.5 flat and this is in the Delta Craw color. This is an awesome cold water jerk bait. And I link, I'll link all these baits in the description below. And I also went through these baits in my last two videos in zone one and zone two. And if you haven't seen those videos, check it out right here. It'll tell you all about the rods, reels, and line I was using on these baits. So now I wanna recap my three days on Lake Maumel in zones one, two, and three. And I really took away two key things from my three days of fishing. The first is to never go into a fishing day with preconceived notions. And this is really tough to do on your home body of water, where you have a lot of experience, where you know a lot of spots, like me on Lake Maumelle. And usually this time of year in December, the fish on Maumelle are deeper, sitting in about 15 to 25 feet of water. And I spent about half of my day each in each of the zones fishing offshore in deep water. But because of a warm rain that came through at the beginning of uh, my three days of fishing, the water uh, warmed up a lot and it pushed those fish shallower than I was expecting. And I really caught almost every fish in less than seven feet of water on reaction baits. So while I think your history on a lake is important, don't get too caught up in how you caught them in the past and let that dictate how your fishing day goes. Always be paying attention to the weather conditions and the lake conditions and adapt and that'll help you catch more fish. Second, all the fish I caught over the past three days were on some kind of rock cover. Whether that was a riprap bank, a rock pile, a small rock transition, or a bluff wall with big boulders on it, all the fish I caught were related to rock. And I think the key to that is in the winter, rocks will hold a lot of heat. And especially in the shallower water areas, those rocks will get heated up by the sunlight. And that draws in bait fish and draws in the bass. So if you're ever stumped on where to fish in the winter, always look for some type of rock cover and you're bound to find some bass. So that's it for my series on Lake Maumelle. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, hit like and subscribe down below. And also leave a comment on what you thought of my video editing, uh, the content of the videos, and maybe leave some suggestions for videos I should do in the future. So we'll see you next time.